I've been following Games Brain for a while, and once upon a time, he did more typical game reviews. But he's really coming into his own lately, with unique, original content. He's got a three-part, in-depth breakdown of the complete Zelda timeline, and I can't even fathom how much effort that took. But my favorite thing so far is his current, ongoing series. It's one of those ideas where as soon as you hear it, you can't believe nobody's ever thought to do it before. Each region in the Pokemon series is based on a real-world location, so Game's Brain goes route by route, city to city, exploring the origins of the Pokemon world and comparing them to our own. It's such a neat concept! He currently has just under 1,500 subs, and I hope we can be the ones to push him past that threshold. I'll leave him on for a minute. You can click here anytime to go to his channel, and links are also in the description. Thanks, everyone. When we're ready to leave, we make our way through Route 1 to our first stop, Viridian City, home of drunken old men and our one link to the top tier of the Pokemon world, the Indigo Plateau. Putting the plateau aside for now, if we look where we are in the real world, it's clear that we have now arrived in Odawara City, one of the most beautiful cities that I have ever had the pleasure to visit. Odawara contains many highlights. Apart from being locked in by the beautiful mountains to the north and west, it's also situated on the western side of Tokyo Bay. Odawara Castle is a great site to view the Hakone Mountains, which also happens to be our next destination, also known as the Viridian Forest. After beating enough battle-hardened metapods to make one sick, we finally arrive at Pewter City, home to the first gym leader we can challenge, Brock. Pewter City is based on Maibashi City, the capital of Gunma Prefecture. Maibashi sits at the base of several mountains, the most notable of which is Mount Akagi. This gorgeous mountain contains a crater lake at the top, much like its Pokemon series counterpart, Mount Moon. But the real mountain isn't as well known for housing ancient fossils or the infamous Team Rocket.